Hi everyone, this will be tutorial number two and in this tutorial we'll go more in depth on the tuning of uh, resonance and at where you get the efficient point. And what you need to do to get to be able to experiment uh, with resonance is you have to get a single generator. And uh, you can get some used ones on eBay, they're pretty cheap. This one I got for about 25 bucks and uh, it's good up to two uh, megahertz. You won't need anything more than two megahertz at this time. And this one can output uh, sine wave, triangle, or square wave. Uh, that's what we'll be using, a square wave. And I just attach alligator clips here on the output, and uh, that's good enough. And this is a Okay, as well, you don't need to buy magnetic wire and make coils and stuff like that. This is right off the shelf from Home Depot. It's 100 feet of 18-gauge uh, uh, speaker wire, uh, and uh, it works fine. I just took each lead out of the package, and I just taped the whole thing to keep it into a coil, and that's all you need. Uh, the next thing you'll need is a, a, a neon bulb. That's a 120 volt neon bulb. And this little light bulb here is uh, an automotive bulb that I uh, use. It's, that's the model number of it there. They are very tiny, you see my thumb. They're like for dash instrument lights. And what I do is I fold out the leads and I uh, kind of scrape off the finish that's on it to, for the solder to stick to it because it won't stick on the finish and um, this is the capacitor obviously so you'll need a lot of different sizes of capacitor and what I've done is I've made myself a collection here starting at 390 picofarads all picofarads uh, working my way down 320, 330, 270, 220 that slot's empty uh, down to 120, that's lot empty. I need something between 120 and that, and the 47 picofarad. And I've got smaller values that I've stuck in there that I've salvaged. All that in the back there, that's all salvage from CRT monitors that I've taken apart. Um, and you can get a set of these, if you can get some of these, these are uh, variable air uh, capacitors. And you can turn those. Uh, to this, I think it starts at 4 picofarad and, and it ends somewhere around at 10 picofarad. So if you can get some of those, I got those on eBay for like a dollar each. <laughs> and uh, you can do fine tuning with those uh, guys. And the other thing you want to get yourself is an inductance a capacitance uh, meter. Uh, they call them CLR meters as well, or just capacitance meter, and you'll find them for like 20 bucks. That's what I paid for. So that's pretty cheap too. And we're going to do all the testing without using an oscilloscope here. Uh, so you don't have to have that, that kind of you know, uh, money spent on an oscilloscope. We're using this neon bulb, we're going to be able to find the resonance point. And using this bulb, we'll use that as an amp meter to determine you know, how much uh, energy in amps that we're, or milliamps basically, that we'll be using and uh, tuning so that this bulb doesn't come on when the circuit is in resonance. That's the trick. So I'll pause the camera now. Okay, so the circuit is very simple. Uh, basically this is one side of my signal generator, one end of the coil, and the other end of the coil is going to be the end where the other side of the signal generator is going to be all in series with this bulb, with this capacitor, and it just jumps to the back and the, the uh, neon bulb is on one side here, on that same lead. And it's only on one lead that's connected. The other side of the neon bulb, I have it on this wire, which is a wire that I've got going to ground. Alright? So, instead of putting a wire antenna, it, you know, it works constantly, uh, very efficiently, just putting it to ground. Uh, you don't have to have it, like I can have it on a small little wire alligator clip, like not grounded, but it's probably best just to leave it grounded, all right? Okay, so here we start now. I, I know 100 feet of wire like this. We're going to be working in the picofarads, 
and we're going to be working in scales of above 100 K Hertz. We're going to be probably more in the range of 400 K Hertz. All right, so for just for fun here, I've got it set at 100 K Hertz and uh, right there when that's at one, it's 100 K Hertz. And then when it's at two, it's at 200 K Hertz. Obviously, that's how it works. And uh, I'll just turn the signal generator sweep that entire spectrum. OK, so we've got nothing. The neon bulb is not coming up. All right. So I bring it back down, I'll jump to the one megahertz range. So this is, has the capability of going all the way to 200 megahertz, uh, sorry, two megahertz. So I'll start sweeping slowly and look right there. There's our hotspot. All right, and if we look, 0.2 would have been 200 K Hertz. So we're actually in the 300 K Hertz range right now where this is resonating. Okay, but it's resonating with, I took this capacitor here, which is 390 picofarad. All right, it's resonating, but look what's happening. This bulb is lit. All right, so that's not what we don't want that. That's, that's amps. All right, so what you do now, okay, is you try a value lower than 390 picofarad. All right, like this next one, or you can always jump all the way down there too. All right. So I'll shut this off. I'll change the capacitance. Okay, I changed the capacitance to 270 picofarad there now. And I'll turn on the signal generator and I'll start sweeping again. And there we go. Okay, now we're resonating at a little higher, 350 kilohertz. And the bulb is still lighting here, but you might not see it, but I can see the intensity is less. So we're on the right path. We have to keep going down. All right. All right, we're back. I've inserted 120 picofarad now, and I'll sweep the generator again. And there we go. We've got resonance right there. All right, now if you look, we're up to 500 K Hertz now. We're still on the one megahertz scale and at 0.5, all right? So, and we've got resonance and look, the bulb is just start, just glowing now. So we're on the right path. We have to keep going down. So now my, one of the smaller ones is 47 picofarad. I'll insert that, that's 120 and we'll come back. All right, we're back. I've got the 47 picofarad inserted there. Let's sweep the uh, signal generator and see what happens. And there we go. We've got resonance again, just as bright. Okay. And our bulb is totally extinguished. All right. So we're not pulling out, pulling in any amps at this state. And yet our coil is very energetic. And our frequency of resonance is 700 K Hertz. So there you go. This is a basic way for you to uh, to uh, to tune uh, for resonance and having the less amount of amps being consumed. And the way to do it is obviously having an assortment of capacitors that you can test. And every time you'll put a capacitor that's lower, your frequency is going to you have to have a higher higher frequency and if you're if you have to go the other way around well obviously you know you, if you put a, a bigger value of capacitor then you will actually have to go down in frequency all right and the size of the coil as well the more and more wire of coil you're going to have uh, lower frequencies as well all right so i hope this is helpful to uh, those that are interested and uh, thank you for watching. Bye now.